Alan, a BG Group barely out of the news these days. Uh, recently, it's been a furore over what they're paying the chief executive. Now on to more operational matters. They've made a big disposal. Tell us about it. They have sold a pipeline involved with their LNG project at uh, Queensland Curtis in Australia. Uh, they've received a, a good price. My impression is they received a, a price that's higher than most analysts expected at $5 billion. That's a lot of money to get in for a pipeline. What are they going to do with it? Well, uh, one hopes that at, at a minimum they'll set aside this most of this cash flow and cash towards uh, offsetting against their net debt. Their net debt has grown to about $11.6 billion. That's a lot for BG. Um, they've had negative free cash flow. That's cash flow after capital spending since 2008. Uh, they need to get back on track and be able to pay this down. This will help. So it helps to, to pay down the debt. But uh, tell me a bit more about the project and how important is it to BG's future strategy? I think it's vital. They, they have some of the fastest production growth of any of the European majors, apart from Galp, the Portuguese one. Uh, but of the other uh, big Europeans, they're well ahead on production growth. Their production growth, uh, according to Deutsche Bank, 26% per annum for the next three years. An important thing is that next year, in 2015, it looks like 70 plus percent of that production lift will come from QCLNG. Now we can't talk about a resources company without talking about resources prices. Obviously the fall in the oil price affecting all kinds of companies in, in this sort of industry. Does it affect BG either in this project or, or in their operations it in It definitely general? affects them. They used to be a trader of LNG cargoes effectively. Um, and th there is an oil price link in LNG, there's no doubt about it. But one, what's changed over the last five or six years is BG is, is very dependent on production growth out of Brazil. That's obviously oil and that's obviously linked to the oil price. But two, think about the QCLNG, those cargoes also will have a price link to oil. So if the oil price continues to go down sharply from here and it may bounce but then go down further, that's going to affect those uh, LNG cargoes. They have contracted a lot of it. Um, they do have a big partner, Chinese partner, Sinook, um, but you know, it's something to consider in the, in the year ahead. So the new chief executive, now that the fury over his pay is, is, is out of the way for the moment, he, he comes in shortly. What, what should his priorities be? I think uh, making sure that QCLNG gets off the ground, if there's any more cost cutting that's needed, focus on it. They will have, it looks like, they will have free cash flow for next year, but once you take away the dividend, there won't be that much money. They have a lot of debt coming due uh, over the next five or six years, an average of four or five hundred million in amortization. So either they pay that stuff down or refinance, but they need to, you know, he needs to be on the ball right away when he gets in in March. Uh, awkward spot to be in given the fluctuations in energy prices. Alan, thanks very much.